a National Chemistry Week. It's an opportunity to celebrate chemistry. I mean, to tell people about what you do and to demonstrate it in a, a really fun way. It gives the, our members a chance to share their passion for this discipline with the general public, with their kids, with students everywhere, with just about anyone. The main need, I think, is to educate the public in the issues of our day which concern chemistry. The goal of National Chemistry Week is to talk about chemistry at its most basic level and to communicate the positive aspects of chemistry to the general public. Chemistry at, at one time had a kind of a bad connotation, you know, with the public. When companies are advertising that they contain no chemicals, which we know is very ridiculous, but obviously that means something to the public. You know, they don't want chemicals. And National Chemistry Week gives us an opportunity to speak plainly to the public about how we make a contribution. National Chemistry Week was the idea of Dr. George Pimentel in 1986. So he presented this idea. He got agreement to do a model project. They decided to involve a few of the sections, which it, his, it always said that was the way to broadcast the idea across the country because the sections are full of very able and uh, enthusiastic volunteers. I actually participated in the uh, first National Chemistry Day uh, in 1987. George Pimentel joined my um, teacher workshop group and he said, I need all of you to promise me that when you go back to your classrooms in November that you will celebrate National Chemistry Day with me. George was always, um, one of the things that he was saying before he died was, um, a lot has been done in high schools to promote chemistry, but we need to go lower than that. And we always focus on fourth to fifth grade school kids because that's the moment uh, somewhere in that time period between then and when they become adults, somebody tells them that they can't do science. And that's wrong. So we try and get them so excited at that point that it doesn't matter what anybody tells them. Because from that point on, we got them. They're scientists. The hands-on activities that we always create for National Chemistry Week, always, they always bring that sort of creativity and passion and um, discovery into, um, into the hands of children. I want them to love chemistry. I want to inspire them. And, I, and even at a young age, as, as young as possible, I want them to uh, think about possibly exploring more and learning more about chemistry as they grow up, as they grow older. And this is a, a way to, to start the ball rolling and show them how everything around them is chemistry and how it makes their life better. It's kind of a wow factor. I mean, you know, they, they, somebody does a demonstration and you see their eyes light up. Man, all the demos we were doing. So we had this giant tub, uh, one of those pools, uh, kids' pools in a hula hoop. We made these giant bubbles and there's a whole quiz show and five gallons of, actually 55 gallons of slime. Elephant toothpaste is one of my <laughs> favorite, favorite ones. And uh, instant snow, the kids love that stuff. Then comes the questions. You know, how did this really happen and explain more to me and all that. And so by getting them young, they, they get more inquisitive and want to know more. And they do learn things. We've done surveys before and after, and uh, it makes a, a difference, a significant difference in their attitude toward chemistry when they leave. There are some fun NCW patches, and I have used them when I went to do NCW activities with Girl Scout troops. So after they did uh, fun activities and hands-on, and we discussed uh, the ideas behind the activities, they earned NCW patches, and they, they wore it proudly. The Illustrated Poem Contest is a way for elementary and high school students to portray the National Chemistry Week topic in their own words and in pictures. One of my favorites were um, the poem contest winners for NCW 2010, which the theme was behind the scenes with chemistry talking about the chemistry in movies, movie set production and design. So National Chemistry Week, it's that magic moment when kids get it. Uh, 
when uh, anything's possible. People come and they bring their children, they make connections to their real life about chemistry, and so it's just very, very positive. And, and they're trying the science for the first time, something that they never thought they could do or never even knew existed. And you just don't have those kind of moments every day. Our members have a great passion that they want to communicate about chemistry and their love of chemistry and what they do to improve people's lives. We would reach millions of kids. Uh, and I don't know, that was beyond my imagination in the beginning. And who, who knew that uh, just by designing a few hands-on activities and communicating it to a few of your closest friends, 10,000 of your closest friends, uh, that you could have such an impact.